All right, so mistake rectified. Um, that was a complete oversight. <laughs> uh, so let's see what's on this laptop now, because obviously we had the reference before. <laughs> what? For the lens of a killer, five years later, photographers reflect on these shocking events of Arcadia Bay. Everyone in the world of photography knew Mark Jefferson by August of 1996. Following his landmark showing at the Radio Nova exhibit in New York, Jefferson's stark sexual style was both critically compelling, no, sorry, critically and commercially unparalleled. But the future of this Oregon narrative was not bright. In fact, it would darken with the history of the Seaside Arcadia Bay forever. So, another game that decides to reference Mark Jefferson for whatever reason. <laughs> Why is it that every game after the first one has referenced Mark Jefferson in some way? Like, I don't think Before the Storm did as much, but Life is Strange 2... Well, it wasn't Life is Strange 2, it was Captain Spirit, wasn't it? And uh, Jefferson had this book. And now we've got this one. <laughs> it's almost like they want to reference the douches. We haven't exactly I mean, been getting the cream Obviously, of Jefferson the crop is beyond a douche, thing. but yeah, why? <laughs> like, why are they so obsessed with re uh, referencing the bad, like the douche and the bad guy? <laughs> Definitely getting this one framed. Uh, what's this? Thanks for being my practice model. You are too wrapped up in the jukebox game to notice. <laughs> okay. Um, so there's some stuff down here. Broken rake. What? I've lost 20 years of lower back functionality using this goddamn relic. <laughs> Damn. Brian says it's state law for every place of business to feature living greenery, and I still can't tell if he's lying. <laughs> I dragged this whole ass chair out here, and I haven't even used it for a nap yet. Criminal. <laughs> Dude was camped out here for three hours. Didn't buy a thing. On the plus side, he did leave all this shit for me to clean up. So yeah, I wonder how uh, many actual references we'll get in the game, because obviously I'll have to go back and see what uh, sacrificing Arcadia Bay does. It's very, it's very surreal. Steph must have had. Was Steph even in Arcadia Bay at that point? I don't know. So glad I, doubt I it. decided to hang on to this monstrosity. <laughs> Are you ready for plenty disc? This what? filled up like a week after I printed a new one, which is one of those good problems. <laughs> you can see the whole of this really filling up now. Can't believe this was gathering dust in the back. When it could have been gathering dust out here. Where's the where's the music thing that was here? I think she might have moved in. No, Ryan. They mean remaining players who also hatched a dragon egg. Duh. <laughs> the rules are pretty darn clear. I demand a rematch. <laughs> no. Poor CDs. None of the charm of vinyl nor the convenience of streaming. But hey, <laughs> at least you're shiny. Hmm. <laughs> Far fewer bonkses. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the rest of this for the new employee, assuming I can get one. Been a while since I've worked on my song... ish... thing. It's funny because she never mentions this to Alex. I've been tinkering with this one for like half a year, and I still don't know what it's supposed to be. <laughs> I like it, though. Hey, it's there's a hot dog man down there. So is that, are these really the only references to Arcadia Bay we're gonna get? Like, a picture of Mark Jefferson, again? And, uh, a mention of, like, a mention of Chloe? With a breakdown, right? Oh! And a vocal track. A dark breakdown. We'll do a triumphant one. Maybe I'll really bring that epic victory vibe in the breakdown. 
So that'll probably that'll probably be in the next segment. But she never mentions it to Alex. Weirdly. Sticky note. It's gonna be a lot of work, but I'm on a roll now. Yeah, I was able to change that thing back to pop because I didn't know the first option was gonna be like that. So I had to because I actually had to replay the game again, obviously, because, well, not the game, but I had to replay the entire thing. Um, we need to do some because that's not normally. Yeah, I had to redo the entire thing because obviously they asked you about Arcadia Bay in the beginning. Let's see what I have left. Oh, good. All of it. <laughs> Shelf comics around the listing station. Clean up trash in the back room. Shelf new albums in the new releases section. Find CD and requested in Andy's email. All right, just a few chores left. Wait. Before we do that email thing, have a call here. But yeah, this series definitely loves referencing Mark Jefferson since the first game. That's for sure. <laughs> for whatever reason. You're on with Steph. Ah, yes. Okay, I need your help. I'm in trouble with HR. What did you do? I screwed up. I was chatting with my coworker about the gym. We were talking about leg day and she said she wanted to work more on her lower body. Here it comes. What did you say? Mm. I said her butt was fine as is and she shouldn't worry about it, which was dumb. No shit, you think? Yeah, you think it's dumb to talk about your coworker's butt? <laughs> I know, but does it really need to be a whole big thing? I'm not that kind of guy, really. But now I'm freaking out. Can you tell me what will happen with HR? I'll see what I can do. Ten, the most nothing number on the die. Huh. A conversation with HR. Not much to go on from the dice roll. So... What do I think this guy deserves? The riot act? <laughs> I'm back. Ready to face the music? Let's just get it over with. You sit down with HR in a hard plastic waiting room chair. Next to a hang in there poster from the 80s. <laughs> For 45 tense minutes, they drill you on every word of your company's sexual harassment policy, ultimately deciding that you need to apologize to her. Are you sure? Because she laughed and said thanks. It was our co-workers that decided to make a big deal out of it. Really, dude? I'm sorry. It's just everyone's acting like I'm some sort of a creep all of a sudden. Oh, you think? Hmm. Okay, relax. No one is calling you a creep. I know you weren't trying to make her uncomfortable, but you clearly did. So instead of telling some radio DJ that you screwed up and you're really a nice guy, why don't you prove it and apologize to her? Fair point. Yeah. You're right. Please direct any further questions to your HR rep. Thanks for the call. <laughs> oh. Right. I'm assuming, uh, I think that was Rihanna DeVira's Chloe back there as well. I guess it makes sense. I mean, part of me does wish it was Ashley Birch because Ashley Birch was available, but I guess at the same time, um, it makes sense because it, she'd probably sound if it wasn't Rihanna she'd probably sound a little out of place because she's obviously Chloe I mean is obviously younger oh I had Ethan's drawing hold on where is that it was here last time I thought one of those caps up there was a reference to The Walking Dead. No, Ryan. They mean remaining <laughs> like players who also hatched a dragon egg. 
Duh. Mm -hmm. Where's um? Is it here? Chef Betty's been getting a lot of traffic from this Bolton board. I think I'll ask for my cut and risotto. It might be it might be in there if anything. Um, let's do everything in here first. Mind you, I think we've got to go in the back anyway. Clean up trash. New releases we can do. As long as bands keep putting out actual records, I'll keep trying to sell them to actual customers. Yeah, there they are. See why Steph is getting a little. What the fuck? What the hell is that about? Oh, the gun. Do you see how I was focusing on the gun there? Was Steph there at the time? That would be... That would be interesting. It still amazes me that we now sell comics. Props to Thanor for drumming up so much interest. We have to find a CD somewhere. Hold on, let's, let's read the laptop again. Oh, check email. Gotta grab this from the CD section. Okay. I was hoping to put a CD on hold with you guys. It's the new Apocalypse Red album. I just want to make sure I get a copy. Gotta grab this from the CD section. Right, okay. I was just refreshing my memory a bit there. I think they were over here, weren't they? CDs? Yep. Here we go. Found it. The beautiful and the dude. Oh, wait. Elise, sorry. Come on, Gingrich. Oh boy. They're fleshing her out if you know what I mean. I see what they're doing. Was Steph there? Seems like it. Or she, well, she would have at least known about it. Because she was obviously friends with Chloe and Rachel, so... Yeah. I wonder how she found out if she wasn't there, though. Thanks for calling KRCT. You're on with Steph. Hey. Hi. I've... Um... This is my first time calling, so sorry if I get it wrong. Hey, don't worry. There's no way to get it wrong. Just tell me what's on your mind. Right. Uh, thanks. Well, I played on my high school soccer team last year since all the rec leagues here stop at age 16. And this girl on the team is just, I don't know, the worst. Hmm. Like, I know I'm awkward sometimes. I'm not like a cool girl, but that's no excuse for her to torture me like she does. I don't want to stop playing. Soccer is the only thing I've ever really been good at. I guess what I want to know is, I want to stand up for myself, but will that turn out well? Or should I just call it quits now? Never, never that call it quits. legitimately sucks. Let me see what I can see. Please be a high number. Boom. 16. Nice. Bullies are the worst. Especially when they ruin something you love. What do I tell her? She rolled pretty high. All right, ready to hear your future? Coop got this yeah. totally wrong, but... What is it? For a while, 
all you can do is hang on, and it sucks. She puts you through hell. But one day after practice, you find her. bawling her eyes out behind the bleachers. And despite yourself, you can't help but ask her what's wrong. Before long, she's spilling her whole life story, all the little hurts she carries with her, and you realize they're a lot like yours. That sounds almost impossible. Hmm. I know. You keep thinking that, even as your conversation stretches past the two hour mark. <laughs> Eventually, the two of you become inseparable and your bond strengthens the team. Yeah. I mean, sounds nice, but I kind of don't buy it, you know? No offense. Well, if it helps, I've been there. Really? Yeah, middle school, high school. I thought I'd have to move away to make it stop. Hmm. Kids like this girl of yours have a nose for what makes you different. They sense weird and they get their claws out. But if you figure out what makes you weird and embrace it, arm yourself with it, you take it out of their hands and into yours. They're left with no ammunition. Pretty much. For me, it was coming out. For you, who knows? But whatever makes you weird is also what makes you a badass. Trust me. Thanks, Steph. That does help. A lot. Aww. You're welcome. And thanks for calling. <laughs> I think, I think the, uh, I think the, uh, the, the kind of reader in me picked that, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh... Oh wait, it's the back room, right? I don't think... Oh, this has changed a lot, look. You can actually... Oh! More, uh... D&D characters. It's just so cool how you get to see the transformation of the places. I might have been a little optimistic about the demand for these. Chandelier. Found this just dumped in a corner. I'm hoping the wiring's still good. Huh. I hope the last person who used this remembered to clock out. We can't afford 15 years of overtime. <laughs> like the hood. Excuse me, like the hoodie, by the way. They found her body in the junkyard. Like fucking trash. Oh, fuck. oh my god, Chloe! Where's Chloe? She, she was there. She was there. I am so not having this right now. But they could only do it now because Don't Nod didn't last ride her in the last game. Just get it done. Wow. Reshelve the comics. Where is Ethan's drawing, by the way? I'm not seeing it. I should probably stop sourcing my daily caloric intake from this table. It's fine. Don't need to deal with it right now. Hmm. No matter how many times I clean it, I can't get rid of the smell. Oh shit. I need nah, to get this back. The bike from the main true colors. Ethan's drawings, there it is. Can't afford them yet. You can't just let customers pluck up all the good stuff. Backseat bingo. Why does that sound familiar? Another code? Oh, it can't open, okay. Holy shit. Huh. Like, Kasha Kasha? Right? A song from the Smash musical, Backstreet Bingo. <laughs> That's cool. Let's do this. But wait, there's more. Get a this could use a more theatrical twist. I'm gonna burn the place down. 
let's see what Ethan does with that. That's cool. Alright, resell comics. The campaign's kind of on hiatus right now. She's just been playing with Mikey, but we haven't even seen him yet. I won't rest until you're more sticker than support beam. Hmm, <laughs> fair enough. Damn, Ninja Cat. I just filled this up. Uh -huh. Sometimes I stand here and gossip about myself. <sighs> huh. Legends tell of a distant epoch when more than one employee's coat hung from this rack. Still haven't figured out what's making my snare buzz. There's the mannequin. That's a that's a reference. Slow key. Pull yourself together, Misty. Oh man, I'm only 20 years too late. <laughs> Hey horse, did you know that gummy bears are made out of horse feet? <laughs> okay. There we go. Still amazes me that we now sell comics. Props to Thanor for drumming up so much interest. No, right? We sell comics, why? Oh right, it's these ones. Another one. She must have been there. She must have been in a class that wasn't Max's. It's just like any other day. Just like any other fucking day. She's she's having it bad. Gabe! Just a few more ads, and I'm officially out of here. She's... She's having it bad. Do you reckon she was a storm survivor? Complete radio show test. I think there was like a couple of ads, wasn't there? Do you re Yeah, do you reckon she was a storm survivor? Because she was obviously there because... Yeah, she's having Yeah, she's having a rough time. Okay, let's let's do it. KRCT is my word done these, but I had to Grimley's obviously start uh, again. Auto Repairs. Grimley's auto repairs. Haven oh, Springs most much. trusted name in automotive service. Let's talk about Grimley's record. Guess They've it really proudly doesn't served our community for Love the love of the game. Which game? The car game. The community game. Name a game. They love it. <laughs> and that's why they're in this business. So if you or someone you love is a car, <laughs> you owe it to yourself to check out Grimley's. Okay. Last one. Here's an offer from our most loyal sponsors, Avalanche Ice Cream. They don't have any weird gimmicks going on this Halloween. Just serving the cold stuff. All treat, no tricks. They'll be giving out free cones to anyone. Do you guys see what I'm seeing? Who wears There's a, a picture in so, the middle. You know, Can't really that point Dracula it out. Cape and sink your fangs into but it must be black forest cherry. It must anyway, be some photos of her and out. Izzy up Still here. Still got chores to do in the store. Better head out there. Yeah, there's pictures of her and Izzy here. I can't really point them at, but they're like here. You guys see them? It reminds me of the ones Chloe and Rachel took. One of which was then replaced by Chloe on Max's phone. <laughs> on on her phone of Max. Ah, uh, so do you reckon sacrificing Arcadia Bay means? More importantly, he's got booze. 
when I'm done here, I'll close up the DJ booth and call him. Are we done here? I guess we are. There's nothing else here. Um, are we gonna turn this off? Gabe, listen. I want to drink until I can't feel feelings. Think you can help me out? Aww. I'll be right there. Well, there's Mikey again. I, I would answer the call, girl. He's, uh... There's a day. And I think... I think it's because... What, what's the date? Halloween? It's pretty close. It's pretty close to to 2013, isn't it? The first game. I understand, okay? I know this, how this time of year is. But these memories attack you, all, and all you want to do is shut them out. I know you would give anything to get through tonight without thinking of Arcadia or Chloe or me. But just in case, I'm here for you. And I always will be. No matter how fucking terrible this night always is. I'm not the least bit sorry that I still have you in my life, and I know you feel the same, even if you're the literal worst at showing it. I get it. Anyway, you know I'm around, and could definitely use some gaming distraction. No pressure, really, but I'm around. Aww. Mikey is wholesome. Oh, fuck. He's wholesome. She talked him around. He's talked around. Damn it, Mikey. It. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> He's a whole wholesome dork. <laughs> I wonder how Drew's doing, by the way. I wonder if it'll it'll say. I wonder if he'll mention it. There he is. It's so awesome to see him again. Really glad we could hang out tonight. Like I said, this time of year for me, it's uh... well, you know. So they they were obviously there at the time. Yeah. Damn. Or why am I such a downer? Come on, let's see what monsters and trickery you. So have were they there or not? I'm I'm a little confused. <laughs> You're on. They obviously. I just need to do a few things to get set up. They would obviously know about it because okay. someone would have told Where them. They would have heard on the news, but. I'm thinking, were they there? I've gotten much at the use time? out of the screen in our virtual campaign. They were obviously. But excuse me. I like having it around. They were obviously in the school, but they um, Dengnan probably wrote here that they were in separate classes or something. If I died tomorrow, this notebook would be the most comprehensive and confusing record of my life. <laughs> I need to check my notes. Hey, take your time. <laughs> We he's, he's definitely older. Shh, well, is coming? Penis! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think Chloe and Rachel are playing their own game. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Pass me the nerd dice. The what? <sighs> Pass me the D20, D10, and D4, please. <laughs> sure thing. I'm gonna bash this Hydra's head in with its other heads. <laughs> you got this. Wow. Everything okay? <sighs> yeah. Just some memories. Good memory or bad memory? Is there a difference? I know what you mean. Sometimes the most painful memories are from before all this shit went down. They must have I been there. I so much time being jealous of Chloe and Rachel. <laughs> Whatever they had, I thought it was perfect. Huh. And now? I feel so fucking guilty that I spent even one second being anything but appreciative that they were in my life. Huh. You really think you did anything wrong? You were a kid. They didn't deserve my jealousy. They deserved so much better. Wow, yeah, Steph. yeah, 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 that would make sense, yes, because Steph crushed on Rachel, didn't she? Oh, yeah, of course, I forgot about that, yeah, I, I feel it, 
I feel you, Steph. 